Hello, hello, and welcome to the channel. We are down today on a rather cold and blustery day at Port of Pool with the great guys at Gibbs Key Marine Sales in Pool to have a look at this truly beautiful Princess 49. Now, in my mind, personally, this is my personal opinion, this is one incredible boat. Not this one specifically, but this is a really good example. But I just think it does everything you need for a boat of a sensible size. So we're just going to quickly start on the outside. So, so you can see here, this grey hull is a wrap. So if this isn't your colour, then you can always change it. It's white underneath. I just wanted to show you externally these incredible hull windows that came in with the, uh, with the 49. And again, how big the superstructure is. So this is me reaching up to that midship's cleat to give you an idea of the volume that this boat has inside. And again, if you look at the side glazing, really really voluminous boat and really really stylish it was the later generation boats where they actually sort of had these beautiful blended curves so let's have a look on board starting externally with this high low bathing platform so you can put your tender on here and lower it in and out the water or just have it as a swim platform as she, as she floats away from me and you can see down here we've got the little keyholes to put the v-blocks in to store your dinghy shower that side little storage locker in here for lines and bits and pieces Ooh, wrong way around shore powering over there and then a couple of really nice princess gates on both sides so you can enter and exit from either side if you want to lovely bit of stainless steel work here the fair lead following off the cleat and then down here we've got the controller for the high low platform and then a bit of fender or line storage underneath there. There is also storage underneath the seats here. The big block of storage underneath there. Little storage locker in that side. And we'll have a look on the way out because there's an engine bay down there that also doubles as a lazarette. Seeing as it's currently dry, I think we will head forward. So I'm just going to take a few steps back and show you, actually we'll go back on the bathing platform, the overhang that you get from the flybridge extension. And you can see there's a track here which runs all the way around so you can effectively zip this whole section in you'll also notice while we're here there is a camera which runs in through the the garmin system which we'll have a look at in a moment so a couple of steps up with these really nice pin lights takes you through the teak decking right the way around and a really substantially high guardrail takes us to the foredeck where you can see plenty of room for sunbathing cushions and a nice flared out pulpit, which makes it really easy to walk around here. Emergency escape and illumination for the fore cabin. And then there's your view back. The black gauze, if you like, over the windscreen is a sunshade. And then down in here, we have the anchor locker. In there, as you can see, plenty of room for chain and some really nifty bins for your fenders. And they're really chunky Lumar winch and bollard which is nice to see particularly if you're taking this down to the mid and again very similar side deck on the other side i don't know if you can see from here but up on top we've got a searchlight there and there's a couple of domes for the track vision satellite tv we shall head back down and go and have a look inside but this is what i'm talking about the way that they changed the design on the, both this one as a 2018 boat and the later generation p50 it's just beautifully styled so you want to go inside big sliding stainless door three-part system effectively first one slides back into here and gives you this single entry point to this beautiful beautiful cabin never owned a princess i'll be honest but i do like them but while we're here if you want to this little catch here push that in lift that one up and you can slide that whole door right the way back to there and then if i take a couple of steps back here you can see how great that's going to be with guests on board for socializing because you've got the dining out there access to the water via the high-low bathing platform really beautiful aft galley layout here 
with all the usual bits and pieces so drawers in here microwave hob there and also quite nice dishwasher down there and two fridges so you've got one in there and if I do a 180 there is a second fridge in here like so a bit more storage in there with your AV equipment and then storage in this cupboard here and exactly the same in the cupboard below but really nice beautiful layout plenty of glazing superstructure windows right the way through there's a bit of storage in this cupboard here and the other one is housing the extractor fan and I better show you the sink I suppose we love to see the sink for some reason so there you go there's the sink nice tap and a lovely Corian worktop throughout here now that naturally blends forwards via a couple of steps here into the main saloon area sofa on the starboard side and this is beautiful condition leather and again same leather on the really nice dinette with this incredibly beautiful princess table that's then on a fixed leg below and if I take a couple of steps back you'll notice that down here we have a drawer for your crockery set which again beautiful look at this still got the original princess logo on it This has hardly been used, this boat. If you're looking for a boat like this, this is the one for you. Oh, and the other thing I love, pop-up TV. So again, you've got a really decent sized pop-up TV that pops up over there. And while that's popping up, we'll just follow this glazing. So it runs right the way through. It's pretty much floor to ceiling right the way through. You do get apertures both sides over by the helm station and over by the back of the dinette there. It gives you really good visibility. And there you go, pop-up TV. So you can sit there, watch a film with friends of an evening, have a beautiful time. So obviously the reason that this whole section here is raised is to give you the maximum amount of headroom you get below in that midship's cabin. We come forward, helm station over on the starboard side here, again with access to that aperture opening window. And then down in here, a bit more storage. and then the helm station. So a couple of decent sized Garmin screens, bow thruster over here, and usual Carlin switches, anchor winch and the like there. Princess gimbaled motif in the middle of the steering wheel. Then over this side, we have a few more Carlin switches, air vents, and I think that is the searchlight. Throttle controllers, gear selectors, trim tabs, the IPS joystick system, and this is really neat. So this is the Dockmate system. So the idea with the Dockmate system is it basically replicates the joystick controller here, anchor winch up here, and bow thruster down here. So you can effectively back your Princess P49 into this slip using this remote control device that controls all the engine controls on the boat. So if you're doing it single-handedly, which again you can easily do on a boat of this size, that's a really great option. So that's your view forward here at the helm and a really, really good view back as well. And again, incredible headroom. We're standing above the master cabin and look at the headroom there, I'm one meter 73, so plenty of headroom there. We stood outside and looked at the height of the superstructure and that really shows itself when you come into these steps and start heading down these steps. As we go down, we pass the distribution panel for 240 or 24 volt as it is as DC power and 235, 240 volt as it is for AC power. So that takes us down into this lobby area. Put the lights on. We will go forward first into the VIP and again, bear in mind this is a 15 and a half meter boat, 51 feet in overall length. This is a great cabin. This is effectively the second cabin, so a massive, great big berth. Still surprisingly good headroom. 
and lots and lots of natural light flooding. And I say, this is a pretty horrible day down in Port. Really big port light there. Same on the other side, and just the most beautiful princess wood. Cupboards over there, cupboard over there, but the way the whole thing just gently flows right the way around is incredible. High gloss finish. Again, pretty standard cupboard in all fairness. And wardrobe on this side. Again, the way they finished it internally with the wood as well, just really nice finish. There's lots of really good audio on this boat. I did, forgot to mention it, but there's a Fusion Stereo head unit in the cockpit. There's another one here. There is a TV with sound bar mounted on the wall there. All of the cabins come with their own reverse cycle air conditioning. A little vanity unit over there with again, a bit of storage. And then if we shut that door, this gives us access to the ensuite heads, which is pretty typical princess quality. It's a lovely finished floor there, angled vacuum flush loo, perineum row sinks with flush mounted taps, and I believe a big, big storage cupboard in here. Look at that, for your spare loo roll. And then full size shower. So look at that, with its own porthole, really decent size beautifully finished but again with a full door so you can keep them up and the spray when you're showering in there which means you can keep the rest of this floor nice and dry and there is access if you want here out into this cabin or the rest of the corridor because that's then shared by the second or not, yeah third i suppose technically third cabin across from here which is the twin of the bunk cabin. Again, like on our old boat, this is very much the spare wardrobe cabin. So, but it is really decent sized berths. They are plenty big enough. A couple of steps up and exactly the same on this one. And then you've got a bit of storage in both cabins, both cabins, both cupboards. That one in there, as you can see, pretty standard stuff. And then there's another one, slightly bigger version in here. like so and you can't see them because the blinds are shut but behind the blinds over here they do have portholes and storage cupboards above both the berths but again the space in this cabin is just, it's just insane I can just touch the ceiling so if we head back out of that cabin and we'll just shut the door here and shut that one as well so that's the stairs we've come down the last cabin we have is the master which is one step down so you really are maximizing the hull depth we then take another step down in here takes us into this master cabin it's just beautiful so subtle in here the, the way they put it together is really nice so and again this is probably user choice i would imagine but over this side here big chest of drawers there's a little vanity unit in there I'll open one drawer for the sake of it there you go and these massive hull windows we looked at them from outside and look how vast that is it does have an opening port over there imagine how close you are to the water how low we sit in the boat and then over the other side exactly the same big hull window beautiful little sofa there AV equipment on the wall and behind us here is a really really big beautifully illuminated might be a bit of flicker there from the lights wardrobe so yeah really really lovely fit and finish and the way that they've curved this whole piece of wood rolls round to give us the bathroom because behind this sliding door here is the ensuite for the master cabin again, standard loo, or perrin and row sink, flush, tap control units, big, big mirrors, and very similar, very large, self-contained shower with its own door. 
There you go. So a quick peek under here for the sake of it. Oh, there you go, usual stuff. But just beautiful finish, and the woodwork is just incredible. I so says if you are looking for a princess, 49 or 50, because there's actually not a lot of difference between these two boats. And again, the way the woodwork runs through here, look at that. Look at the way the gloss reflects the stairs. So we'll head back outside. We'll have a quick look on the flybridge, although I'll be brutally honest, it is covered up because it is a pretty horrible day down here. But the nice thing about the flybridge is it's a full set of stairs, so you're not climbing up a little ladder. Full set of stairs, and then you've got a full perspex door, so when the weather's really bad you can close it off. I will drop some pictures in, I've got some really good pictures from the guys at Gibbs Key, so I will drop some pictures in that show the dining area at the back, there's a barbecue section over there with a grill and a sink. There is then a really nice secondary dining or seating area here. And then you've got the helm station up here. As I say, it's a pretty grotty day down here. We've been dodging the rain most of the day. So I'll drop some pictures in there, give you an idea what that looks like. And we will finish off in the engine bay which is just down here. I say engine bay, it's big enough to be another cabin down here. Obviously a bit less headroom. So we'll start forward. A couple of D8 IPS 700s. Now I could be wrong, but I believe there's a 550 horsepower each. And they then run on jack shafts, so effectively engine stops there and that runs right the way down this shaft down here till you get to the IPS unit at the back in there. So that is your IPS unit. And logically there's then two of those, there's another one over there and that runs right the way forward again on that jack shaft to the starboard engine. Over here we've got all the Dometic reverse cycle chiller units and then there's hydraulic unit down there with trim tabs and the bathing platform. Forward of that we have fuel tanks just over here, water separators over there and then the generator down here and battery banks over there but what a lot of space just incredible down there so back to the engines, I forgot to say, so they're going to give you a cruise or a maximum speed of around about 30 knots, I would think, on a good day. But a really comfortable cruise, probably mid-20s, 20s, 25s, all day long. So there you go. That is 2018 Princess 29. I want to thank Jason and the team very much for letting us have a look around this boat. So if you're interested in it, give them a shout. Thank you very much for watching. Do, do please like and subscribe. It makes a massive difference to the channel. Motivates us to come out here and do these videos. And we say thank you for watching and I'll see you next time round.